I just got to the theaters from witnessing Dragon Ball Super Superhero on the big screen. And I have some things that I want to talk about for this film, guys. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Let's go. What's going on, you guys? The Demi God back on Demi God ENT coming at you with another movie review for Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Now, of course, this is one of our brand new Dragon Ball Super movies. I believe our fourth Dragon Ball Super movie that we've gotten so far in continuity. And I gotta say, guys, Dragon Ball does not miss. Now, I have a lot of things I want to say about this film, a lot of high points that are inside this movie. And as you could already tell, I had a fantastic time at the cinemas watching this film. Now, let's go ahead and start with a big talking point going into this movie, which is the animation. Now, this may be one of my only slight critiques of the film, and that's the animation style. However, I still did like the animation and what they did with it. Now, at first, you know, it appears very video game-ish. It looks like a cutscene straight out of a video game, out of a Dragon Ball video game. However, I'm a gamer, so that doesn't, you know, upset me that much as maybe it does some other people. It definitely is a completely different animation style than we've gotten for the past three Dragon Ball Super movies movies and you know it's a big change going into this film it is and the more you sit with it it's almost like into the spider-verse the more you sit with the animation style once you walk into it the more it grows on you and they did some really brilliant scenes inside of here with this new you know you little unique animation style that they're using here and over time over the film it definitely grew on me and i liked it i did so like i said they're a slight critique kind of but i still ended up liking it by the end of this film definitely especially when they do the big scenes inside of this film and so continuing on with this film the whole concept of this movie is the whole plot for this film is pretty much it's piccolo and gohan two fan beloved you know dbz characters who have to take on a new reformed red ribbon army from you know the classic dragon ball series and then of course obviously they splice them in there with the cell saga and Dragon Ball Z, but essentially Goku and Vegeta, they're off training with Whis and Beerus and they happen to not be able to be reached. So that leaves us with our Z fighters, Gohan and Piccolo to save the day. Now in between all of this, we get a lot of cameos and appearances from Dragon Ball characters that we've come to love over the years, such as Krillin, Pam grown up a little bit inside of here. She's about three years old inside of here. It was amazing seeing Pam. She brings a brightness to this film and I really liked her character along with, you know, all the classics, Krillin, Bulma, Android 18, Goten, Trunks, and a lot more appearances with inside here just from throughout the Dragon Ball universe. And it was amazing seeing all of those characters come back into play at some point during this film. I loved seeing them on the screen. And to dive more into that Red Ribbon Army plot, essentially, like I said, they're reforming. They're trying to bring, you know, this new wave, this new generation. And they're trying to, of course, take over again, like they're always trying to do. And so they seek out Dr. Hedo to recreate some androids for them. And that is where we get Dr. Hedo in here. And then, of course, his creations, the new androids, the Gamma Twins. They were really cool, man. I loved seeing what they were doing inside of this film. At first, during the setup, I wasn't quite sure where they were going with it. However, by the end of this film, man, it all paid off. Dragon Ball never misses with its villains. They've always been known for fantastic villains and so they definitely deliver here and even though our main characters don't play a part inside of this film as much as I personally would have liked them to I definitely would have loved to see Goku and Vegeta obviously do their thing inside of here like we always see though it was nice seeing our other Z fighters getting a chance to shine and we even get some new transformations inside of here that was extremely cool to see and some redemption for characters that have been you know kind of tossed to the side over the years such as Gohan is a big one inside of this film and yeah man all those things were fantastic there's so much nostalgia inside of here a lot of flashback scenes to just events that occurred throughout dragon ball and throughout dragon ball z so that was amazing to see with inside this film and also i just felt like a kid again watching this movie and that was absolutely fantastic there's this like i don't know if you're a dragon ball fan this is definitely the movie for you there's this just feeling you get inside of yourself when you watch this movie and it hit all the right notes all the right beats there was a great you know sense of comedy in here comedic relief from certain characters that are always the comedic relief while also maintaining you know the serious side to it when the battles start really breaking off and that was really cool to see the way they balance that out there and yeah this is a dragon ball movie through and through it has the heart and the soul of dragon ball with inside this film so if you are a dragon ball fan definitely go check this one out i'm gonna go ahead and drop the rating for this film for you guys i'm gonna give dragon ball super superhero a 
9 out of 10. It gets the 9 out of 10. A fantastic watch at the cinemas. Definitely worth your time. Definitely go out and support this movie at the box office so we can keep getting more Dragon Ball movies at the cinemas, man. It's amazing to see. And I will say, if you aren't particularly a Dragon Ball fan, you may be confused as to, you know, who all these characters are because they just throw them in here like you're already supposed to know who they are, almost like a Marvel movie. And that's the whole purpose of this. There's no reason for us to readdress us to these characters who we're majority of us are accustomed with. Um, but if you're a Dragon Ball fan, man, 100% this is the movie for you. Definitely go out and see this film. Those are my thoughts on this film. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. If you don't know what I do here, I don't think you got any to do commentaries, reactions, and reviews. So if you're interested in any of that, in the right place, man, hit subscribe. Hit the like button. I drop multiple videos a week on this channel. So you can expect out of me. And if you don't already know, I am the Demigod, the chosen one here on Demigod ENT. And I'm out of this thing, man. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.